October 14, 2014, we had a landmark visit from former President Jimmy Carter, thanks to Dr. Al Haftour, who invited him to join him on our campus to announce the establishment of the Pathways to Peace program at Illinois College. The Pathways to Peace program has provided students and faculty with an opportunity to study very complicated issues, both through a seminar that was held on the campus of Illinois College and also in travels to the Middle East where they were in Israel and the West Bank and they saw firsthand the complexities of forging peace in that part of this world. And our faculty and students have learned so much from this experience thanks to Dr. Al Habtour and it will influence their views of the world and the work that they will be doing in the future both as faculty members and as professionals, many of whom will be studying international relations in their graduate work. One of the things that Dr. Al Habtour said to me directly uh, was that he didn't believe that our students could understand the Middle East and the situation in Palestine without being there, without talking to the people on the ground, as he put it. And so we were able to take the majority of the Pathways to Peace participants, students and faculty to the Middle East um, where they spent two weeks um, meeting with Israelis, meeting with Palestinians, understanding the, the geography of Jerusalem, understanding the wall that has been built, understanding the culture of Palestinians uh, in Palestine, Palestinian territory, talking to students. They were able to put literally flesh and blood onto the ideas that they had learned about diplomacy, about the history, uh, and talk to individuals in Israel and in Palestine. Uh, and I know from talking to the participants in Pathways to Peace who went to Israel and Palestine that this was an incredibly emotional and moving experience for them. The trip to the Middle East was essential for me um, to be able to interact with Israelis and Palestinians who were living the conflict. Um, it's always one thing to, to read about those kind of experiences. It's a whole nother thing to, to interact with those people, to speak to them face to face. I cannot imagine anyone that went through this process um, would have not been changed um, to some degree by, by what happened. There, there are just too many different ideas, too many different perspectives. Um, I think and hope everyone was challenged in their beliefs. It was a very meaningful experience. Um, I learned a lot that will stay with me. Um, I think it's changed the way I view the world, the way I view the conflict. Um, it's definitely brought a lot of new things into my teaching. I want to share what I learned with the students at Illinois College and I hope to in some way try to be involved now in what's going on and try to make a difference. So I thank you for the opportunity, it was um, very special. I think that it's been a tremendous opportunity for all of us. Um, I certainly appreciated very much the opportunity to spend uh, really focused attention over the course of a semester in thinking very, very seriously about these issues and doing a lot of reading um, in a way that I normally would not be able to do. So I was very grateful for that opportunity, as well as then the opportunity to talk about this with students, to hear their points of view, to talk about it with colleagues, um, as well as to go to the Carter Center. That was a phenomenal opportunity um, for all of us to think about not only um, the ideas and the theories, but real world applications of these ideas, right? Because that's, that's truly what a lot of this work is about, is bringing together the theories with um, real world applications. So thank you very much, it's been great. And I think it will be a, a work that most of us will continue to think about. I don't think we'll be finished with it uh, in any way. I'd like to say to him that I'm immensely grateful for this experience. Uh, I'd like to tell Dr. Arthur that this has, uh, I think, changed the view of the students that were in the program. Uh, but it's, it will also change this campus because all the students have come back with a great motivation to spread the word. And if you can make that impression on me, then I can make that impression on someone else, and someone else might go tell their friends. And this is, I think, how we can eventually uh, build a new understanding of this conflict in the U.S., and it's very much needed.
I want to thank Dr. Alabtour for his um, contribution, his um, support of the Pathways to Peace project. It was a, a unique once in a lifetime experience for me that really um, deeply uh, changed my view of the world, of the research that I will do, um, and the, the teaching that I'm going to do here at Illinois College. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for this opportunity. I was so blessed and so glad to be one of the six students chosen for this opportunity. Ever, the minute I found out about this, I wanted to participate in it. So thank you so much for giving me the ability to speak out and the ability to kind of introduce people to my culture and introduce people to this conflict as well as learn more about this conflict. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to participate in the Pathways to Peace group. Um, this has been a transformative experience for me. I appreciate this opportunity. Um, it, it's made a huge difference in how I, I think about issues and um, how I will uh, even teach some of my classes. Thank you very much. If the status quo is just to continue as it is, then we won't see any change. Um, and the only opportunity you really get to begin to change the status quo is when you have an in-depth involvement. So, you know, we can talk about this in various courses and whatnot, but the students and faculty here as well, you know, um, spending this much time on this centrally important topic um, means that we can um, fashion our opinions in a way that doesn't simply mimic what the status quo might tell us. And I think that's critically important. And so this is, in many ways, um, the idea of what the liberal arts are supposed to be doing. And it's like, the space to do it in is just a wonderful opportunity. It's a wonderful opportunity. And uh, um, yes, it's unique, and um, I think it's um, uniquely powerful.